Hello everyone, welcome back to electromagnetic field theory. In the previous video, we have the discussion about what the Gauss law has given and its application to different configurations. Now based on to that concept, let us solve one more problem. Given a 60 microcoulomb point charge located at the origin, find the total electric flux passing through. We have three parts. That portion of the sphere having radius 26 cm bounded by theta ranging from 0 to pi by 2, phi ranging from also 0 to pi by 2. In the second part, the closed surface defined by rho equal to 26 cm, z equal to plus minus 26 cm. And in the part C, the plane Z equal to 26 centimeter. Now, the given is a point charge. So, first of all, in the diagram, we will locate the point charge. It is at the origin. So, let us draw the diagram. In the diagram, we take the help of X, Y, Z axis, Z axis, Y axis and X axis. Here, at the intersection of all these three axes, the point is located and it is having magnitude 60 microcoulomb. So this is positive y axis, positive z axis and here it is the origin. Now as per the problem statement, the charge we have located at the origin, we have to find the total electric flux. The total electric flux passing through, first of all, the portion of the sphere r equal to 26 centimeter theta this range and phi range. So first of all we will consider a sphere having radius 26 centimeter. So let us say this is the 26 centimeter radius sphere centered at the origin. From this sphere we have the theta from 0 to pi by 2. According to the definition of theta, theta we measure with the positive z direction starting at this position going this way so it has the entire range 0 to pi that is 0 to 180 degree while for phi phi is the angle made by the perpendicular segment from the point onto the z axis with that of positive x direction so it has range 0 to 2 pi and in the given problem statement it has given 0 to pi by 2 so to looking at the conditions r is equal to 26 centimeter theta 0 to pi by 2 and phi 0 to pi by 2 we take out the specific portion from the diagram and redraw it here it will be suppose this is z axis this is y axis this is x axis this has to be like this now while we go from this point to this point either on this side or this side okay we go from theta is equal to 0 degree to pi by 2. Okay. So this arc and this arc covers theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2. We had started at positive z direction and ended on positive x direction and positive y direction at theta is equal to pi by 2. Now, we, we start at x positive direction to measure phi we go up to the y axis so this is 0 degree to pi by 2 radians for the phi okay so now whatever the sphere we had considered with radius r is equal to 26 centimeter so this much of length is 26 centimeter on z on y and on x okay so this is 1 eighth portion of the sphere having radius r is equal to 26 centimeter. Now the charge is situated at the origin having the magnitude q is equal to 60 microcoulomb at the location 0, 0, 0. Hence we have to use the formula psi is equal to the integral over d bar dot of ds bar now because of the point charge d bar electric flux density formula we know that is q upon 4 pi r square 
AR cap measured in coulomb per meter square. Now for this differential portion of the sphere, we can write ds bar is equal to r square sin theta d theta d phi. This we have covered into the differential length, differential surface and differential volume for rectangular, cylindrical and spherical coordinate system in unit number 1, chapter number 1, vector analysis. So accordingly we write ds bar is equal to r square sin theta d theta d phi ar cap. ar cap is the radially outward direction. This slice I can show like this. This is the origin and this is the one eighth part of the sphere. So here we perform d bar dot of ds bar. So d bar dot of ds bar we obtain q upon 4 pi r square into r square sin theta d theta d phi. Okay. So now psi will be equal to surface integral q upon 4 pi sin theta d theta d phi. So now substituting q upon 4 pi integral theta will be equal to 0 to pi by 2 phi will also be equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin theta d theta d phi in the next step we get q upon 4 pi minus cos theta 0 to pi by 2 and phi also 0 to pi by 2. So further we get after substitution of q value psi is equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. As the point charge was given the magnitude 60 micro coulomb. Okay. Now according to the discussion and the experiments by Faraday and the Gauss's law, the amount of charge present produces that much electric flux surrounding to it. So 60 micro coulomb of charge will produce 60 micro coulomb of flux. So as the differential surface that we have considered as per the theta and phi values, it was one eighth part of the sphere. Hence, if you divide 60 micro coulomb by 8, you can directly get this value also. But here we have used the proper formula for electric flux density. We have integrated it with the given surface and found this answer. So this is the solution for part A. So this way we have answer for part A. Let us focus on to the part B. The problem was given a 60 micro coulomb point charge located at origin, we have to find the total electric flux passing through the closed surface defined by rho is equal to 26 centimeter, z is equal to plus minus 26 centimeter. As we see the rho and z combination, so this means these are the representation in terms of cylindrical coordinate values. So to look at these values, we first of all judge how the surface look like, the closed surface look like. After that, we will calculate the total electric flux passing through this particular surface. So in the three dimensional space, as the coordinates are of cylindrical type, we take z axis to be the reference one. Let us say this is the origin. Now rho is equal to 26 centimeter. So it means rho is the radius of cylinder. So for this one, we have to consider a cylindrical shape into consideration where the radius will be 26 centimeter and z is limited with the value plus minus 26 centimeter. So the cylinder will be looking like this. Now the bottom of the cylinder intersects z axis at z equal to minus 26 centimeter and the top of the cylinder intersects z axis at z is equal to plus 26 centimeter. Now z values we have put 
and the radius rho can be shown rho is also equal to 26 centimeter at the center there should be the origin o now at the origin as per the given problem statement the charge is situated let us denote it by q so q is equal to 60 micro coulomb as we know the charge in the space whether it is positive or negative it has electric flux lines surrounding to it so here it is positive so for the positive charge there are the flux lines going outwards from it now the point origin is entirely closed inside this cylindrical surface it is exactly at the center so whatever the total amount of flux will be generated by this point charge so that is the flux will be 60 micro coulomb the amount of magnitude of charge equal to the amount of flux generated the 60 micro coulomb of flux will be generated here that will be going in all possible directions as the location is at the center anyhow it has to either cross the top or bottom or the cylindrical surface of this particular surface under consideration hence the surface will be crossing with the total electric flux so hence the answer will be psi leaving is equal to q enclosed so q enclosed is equal to 60 micro coulomb so for portion b part b we have the answer 60 micro coulomb in the first part it was one eighth portion of the sphere considered that is why 60 was divided by one eighth so it was 7.5 micro coulomb in the portion b it was the total closed surface hence the amount of total electric flux passing is equal to 60 micro coulomb let us focus attention to the part c that is the last part the plane z equal to 26 centimeter so for z equal to 26 centimeter we can show in the space we have the three axes x y and z the charge located at the origin q is equal to 60 micro coulomb now the plane z is equal to 26 centimeter so z equal to certain constant value it means it is a plane parallel to xy plane so let us imagine such a plane which is parallel to xy so this is x dimension i write the differential and this is y dimension again i write the differential which intersects z at 26 centimeter so here along x and along y it is infinite now we have to find what is the total amount of electric flux crossing this particular plane or surface. So whatever the amount of electric flux has to be generated, it is 60 micro coulomb. So up to the infinity, I suppose half of the portion of the electric flux generated will definitely cross or intersect this particular plane at z equal to 26 centimeter and half of the electric flux will be going downwards hence out of the 60 micro coulomb of flux it will be divided by 2 hence the answer is the total electric flux leaving is equal to 60 micro coulomb by 2 equal to 30 micro coulomb so this is the answer for part c so for this problem number one answer for part e is 7.5 micro coulomb for part b it is 60 micro coulomb and for part c it is half of that that is 30 micro coulomb thank you